This is the chassis to my first digital clock that I built. It was a pickaxe digital clock. That's where I programmed it and had the power. That's the bottom. 6 volts, 28X1, and the 08M. Those were the pickaxe chips that I used. I had blue LEDs, 7 segment LEDs right here in these two holders. Um, I love these holders, these uh, chip sockets. You can use them for almost anything, really. You could put resistors in those things, and it works great if you don't want to sacrifice your parts. It's almost like having solderless. Um, LEDs for alarms, colon. This thing went off in the middle of the night because I didn't program it right. That's a Maxim display driver. I kind of use this idea in this project that I'm actually about to videotape. But over here, you'll see the pickaxe chip with its crystal. Actually, that's a resonator, but... Another pickaxe chip, that's the 8M. Here's the clock, DS1305. And there's the crystal right there, 32.768 uh, kilohertz. I actually stole the super cap, but kept the time. This thing actually held its time for probably seven or eight months before I destroyed it. On top, I had buttons. I don't even know what those do anymore. But here's this project. This is the one that took me a minute and 18 seconds to get to. It's an Altoids can clock quite nice. If you push the button here you'll see it's uh, 2315. It's pretty accurate. Um, not too accurate seeing as it's been running for 15 minutes since I set it. Um, here's our uh, microchip just using the PIC 16F690. There's the uh, Rob super cap. That's a one ferret at 5.5 volts. And then these set the times. This is the hours this is the minutes. I'm not going to push it because I've already set this clock, but you hold that down and ah, who cares. You can see that it changes the time. Those are the hours. 3, 16, 4, 5. I'm not going to go through them. Then you can set the minutes here. And you can see that 250 millisecond delay. But this is how this little clock works. Now, this was a button cell, but these blue LEDs use 3.4 volts to get going. So, wham! I had to put some batteries on the back and I soldered it somewhere here. I'm a little disoriented. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, this is all hot glued together. You got to love hot glue guns. That's what that is. That thing can put out some hot glue now. I've gone through about two and a half sticks on this project. But there it is. And you can see I've used sockets for this because I may have to make mistakes and then have to fix them. And then, of course, blue LEDs, these are the only ones I have. They're, uh, they're $14 for two, um, and plenty of hot glue in there. You can see the wires in there. It's almost like Encino Man. That's, that's this project. Check out tech-tut.com, and you can find the source code. Might put a hex file there if I get bored. Uh, this is a Cinnamon Altoids digital clock inside. Uh, it's pretty wonderful. Hope you've enjoyed this little documentary on the Altoids clock. And remember, it's more than just a project.